Welcome back to another Pen Talk. Thanks for tuning in. This video is going to be a little bit different. We're going to talk about a pen cabinet that I found in a local unfinished furniture place in, in my town. So uh, let's look at that store and see how I found this wonderful cabinet. Here we are outside the uh, unfinished furniture store that we have in our town. Uh, it's an excellent store. Uh, I bought a shelf uh, from them, a nice bookcase that worked well for my videos. As we come in out of the sunlight, it's a nice selection of things. But what really caught my eye was this cabinet, this multi-drawer cabinet, which right away screams a great place for the pens. Twelve shelves, twelve small shelves and two larger shelves at the bottom that could take a lot of ink bottles. And what's really amazing, wow, that's how the ink, you could fit two of these trays in there without a problem. So each tray is going to have well over 30 pens in it. And with 12 of those, or 60 pens almost, so there's a lot of pens that are going to be in here. So it's really nice. You never know when you might be able to find something interesting in a store like this. There's many varieties of things here that can be used for storage. You can use that for anything you want. And the best part is you can roll. There are about what my pen rooms looks like. So I figured I'd give an overview. And also, I have some new additions. I have these LED lights, which I think are excellent. Three of them to minimize shadowing. There's the tripod. The camera is usually on. My computer is sitting over there to the right on two bins, which are filled with old <clears throat> pen boxes and also some uh, advertising materials. There's my two recent acquisitions, which I think both of them are excellent and they really help out in the room. The bookcase is what I use for my filming. It's great because it gives me three more shelves that are pretty good. And the bookcase I bought unfinished. And I was impressed with the way it was built. So then I bought this cabinet, which is just phenomenal. You have 12 drawers in there, which seem to be designed for fountain pens. And at the bottom are two larger drawers, which are great for ink. As we close up on this, I wanted to show a piece of raw wood. And then one that I finished. So what I do is I just use a, a Minwax stain, which is an oil-based stain. It's called Ipwich Pine. And then I coat it with a clear overcoat. I used to brush on uh, an acrylic, which is on this furniture here. But uh, recently I got into this, and this is excellent. You just uh, put it on a rag, you brush it on, it dries in about five to six hours. And I just love the matte finish and the way it even things out. So I'm very, very happy with how this has come out. If we take a look at how I've done the drawers, you can see there's some Delta pens in this drawer. So that's that corrugated material that's covered with felt. And then in the back, I just used that board to fill it out so nothing moves around. And I had to add two more rows here at the end because the, the piece didn't exactly fit. We'll show you how it looks like without the end on it. That's a workup drawer, so that's a drawer in progress. So there's how it fits without the two pieces on the end. So that gives me 52 pens in a drawer if I do two rows. So that's just phenomenal. So I'm going to be able to really organize my collection and uh, be able to find things that I now have trouble finding. The more I use this cabinet, the more I'm impressed I am with it. And what's really interesting about the design is it has wheels, so you got to be careful when you pull out the drawer, the cabinet will move, so you just have to, you know, put some pressure against it. And this is a beautiful ink drawer. I mean, the Iroshizuku and the Noodlers are just the right height to just fit in that drawer. And we have some other inks over there. I'm, I'm still uh, working on a partition system to keep everything in place. I may do something with wood later on. And there we are with the KWZ. Robert Oster and some sailor inks along with some other ones that I have. So it just works very well. I'm very happy with it. And it'll just allow me to enjoy my hobby and my passion a little bit better. <laughs>